So this is an application that visualizes the Encyclopedia of Life uh, database. And what you're looking at here is a tree map that shows the eight kingdoms represented in the Encyclopedia of Life. The size of each region corresponds to the number of named species contained within that section of the taxonomy. You can drill down into any section by clicking on the title. And now we're looking at the animal kingdom. You'll notice here there's a scrolling list of images that shows representative species from within the animal kingdom. If I'm interested in an image, I can pull it out of the scrolling list. And I see a chord that shows me the location of this organism within the tree of life. So here I can drill down into arthropods. I see that this is a type of insect and that it's within the order beetles. I can also toss images from the table to a large display wall to put them in my biodiversity scrapbook. You'll notice also on the display wall that we show the Linnaean taxonomy on the far left and a more up-to-date phylogeny on the next one over. In addition to the virtual images, I can take actual physical cards such as these and place them on the table. So I'm going to go back up to the animal kingdom. And if I put this card on the table, I see a cord pointing to this organism's location in the tree of life. So I see that this is within vertebrates and is a type of bird and is within the pelican family. Other people can bring cards to the table too. I'll zoom out to see where this organism comes from. And we're going to go back to arthropods. And then insects. And you can see here that we're looking at two different species of butterfly. In some cases, it would be nice to see not only the Linnaean taxonomy, which is represented by the tree map, but also phylogenetic information about the evolutionary history of organisms shown on the table as well. By using this cube, I can display phylogenetic information alongside the tree map. I can also switch visual representation of that tree, in this case from a ladder to a more of a uh, square style cladogram. We're also experimenting with overlaying phylogenetic information on top of our tree map. And here we can see that mammals and reptiles share a common ancestor which in turn share a common ancestor with the amphibians.